Beer, it's a refreshing beverage consumed all over the world since the times of ancient Egypt up to present. Well, hello there. Cheers to you too. <clears throat> With no cultural boundaries, whatever the occasion might be. As tempting as it is to drink beer, slugs are on the verge of becoming alcoholics. Yes, you heard that right. In a recent experiment, it was seen that slugs preferred beer over water. The attraction seems to be primarily because of the yeast and volatile compounds in beer. Man, looks like those slugs may do anything for a beer. I know humans will. <laughs> Such was the case with an unique Norwegian aviation incident during a domestic flight from Trondheim to Oslo on June 21, 1985. A hijacker on board held all five crew members hostage and demanded the audience of the Prime Minister. But when negotiations ended, he relinquished his weapon in exchange for, well, you guessed it, more beer. If you thought that was bizarre, check this out. In 1955, Operation Teapot was put into effect in the Nevada desert to study the effects of radiation from a nuclear bomb on beverages, especially beer. Good news, although the bottles had some radiation in them, the contents were safe to drink. Well, anyway, I ain't drinking that Did you also know that snake venom is the strongest beer in the world? No, not that, this snake venom. It's a beer with 67.5% alcohol by volume, sold at US dollar 70 a bottle, brewed by a Scottish company called Brewmeister, located north of the capital. Historically, beer has been brewed mostly by women, from the Vikings, where they were respected for their brewing prowess, for consumption at home and provided supplies during raids by men, to even the Egyptians for religious ceremonies as offering to gods. If you have liked our content so far, please take this time to hit that like button and subscribe to Gimme Facts. Because of the large-scale consumption, fermentation was a common task for women at home. In the 1500s, women used their fermentation skills to market their beer and make some extra money, sometimes partnering with their husband, and they were commonly known as ale wives. How many times did I actually say beer? Oh, well, I lost count. Anyway, moving along. The common scene at the market would have women wearing long pointy hats, standing with their cauldron and their cats. This unfortunately was associated with the perception that they were witches. Oh boy, talk about misconception. Although keep in mind that this was the 16th century and the beginning of the Reformation in Europe leading to condemnation of witchcraft, which resulted in prosecution or even death sentence. Some men eventually started taking advantage of this and falsely accused any woman involved in the business. This ultimately led to the decline of the women's involvement in the beer industry. But there was science behind their fashion. Their pointy hats would help their customers locate them in a crowded market. The cauldrons helped transport the beer, and the cats, well, they were there to keep the rats away from the grain. This trend follows even today with the top 10 beer companies headed by male CEOs. Alright, leave down in the comments below your thoughts on the beer industry domination and how its history would have been rewritten today if not for the former events. Oh, and uh, talking about beer and Egyptians, check out this facts video on ancient Egypt. Sayonara, folks.